So I'm sure you figured out by now that we have a new addition to our family, to the Hess family, and that is a puppy. We have explained the story before. We found him right after. You probably hear him rustling around in the back, running around. He tends to do that. He's a really cute dog. We found him in the parking lot about two months ago, and we put up signs. We tried to find his owner. We took him to the vets, and we found out that he did have a microchip in him, um, but it was put in from the Humane Society and not the owner. And when we tried to call the owner, the phone number was disconnected. And we actually found the address that he came from, but it is in a really bad part of town. So Mr. S and I debated back and forth, back and forth, seeing what we should do with this dog. Meanwhile, we grew super attached to him, and we've been training him. Mr. Hess has been really great at training him. He's really good at going on walks now. He used to pull us around everywhere and investigate everything but now he's really cool to walk with because he just walks by you and he's really nice to other dogs he's really nice to other people he's very friendly goes up to other anything really <laughs> um let's see so our story about the vets here we go so we decided to take him to the vets we had been stalling doing this because once we took him to the vets i feel like that would mean he's ours so we hadn't taken him it's been about a month and a half and finally, we decided, let's take him to the vets. So we, we take him to the vets. We found a great one right by where we live. It's, um, I'm not going to tell you the name. I was going to, but then that will tell you way too much information. But it's a great vet by our house. And when we, uh, when we took him in, they asked what kind of dog he was, and my biggest guess was a Rhodesian Ridgeback. I'm not sure exactly what he is. He might be part pit bull or boxer, which sounds kind of scary, but he is so nice. And I wish I could show you what he's doing right now. <laughs> I'm sure you hear it, but he's just chasing his little rope toy around. But it, um, anyways, I'll post some pictures. I wanted to give you all a pup date update number two. The first one was back in the beginning of January and I feel like it's been way too much time so you need to know what's going on. So we took him to the vets and we wanted to get him checked out and see if he has anything wrong with him because we found him on the streets, you know. We got him a rabies shots, we got him all of that taken care of, but we do have some bad news. He does have heartworm as well as hookworm and I'm sure he's had this all of his life because the vet said that it takes six months for heartworm to show up positive on a test. And it showed up positive and they've guessed that he's about a year old. So he's probably been living with heartworm his entire life. We are guessing that his owner he had before either couldn't afford the treatment for it or didn't know what to do with him. And I really feel like he was dropped off on our part of town. I don't really know. Um, at this point, <laughs> he's going nuts, by the way. Wow, I want you to see this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see exactly what's going on, <laughs> but this is what he does. He just runs around and goes crazy. <laughs> we take him on walks all the time. We have him go outside with us he goes in the car with us he is an amazing dog we couldn't have asked for a better dog to fit our lifestyle he's still gone <laughs> as much as him because he's totally laid back he gets along with our cats which was huge uh if he didn't get along with our two cats that have been here for two years then clearly he wouldn't stay but Basically, long story short, he's awesome. He is the best dog we could have asked for. We found him on the streets. He does not have a home. We gave him a home. And no, we do not have a house yet. But I think it's better for him than living on the streets. And the moral of this vet story, it's uh, not ideal timing for saving for the wedding. Much like my car. You just cough something up. <laughs> Always interesting over here. But the treatment for heartworm is going to cost a total of about $1,200, which clearly is not an ideal 
situation for us. However, if he did not get this treatment, he would probably be going to another shelter, and you know they don't treat them for that. So Mr. Hess and I grew attached, named him. I didn't even tell you his name. It's already five minutes in this video, and I promise I'm trying to wrap this up because I tend to talk on and on. His name is Rody. R-O-A-D-I-E, and we decided Rody because we know he's part of... <laughs> Come here. Look, here he is. <gasps> Rody, look, come here. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. He's just so happy all the time. He's such a great dog. His name is Rody. He's Rhodesian Ridgeback, and he is also part of the Razorback family of Mr. Hess and I. So there's the back part of that as well. We found him on the road. He wanders the streets. He follows us like Rody, like Rubies. I call him Roadster. So that's why his name's Rody. So I think you are finished hearing me go on and on about our dog. But he's here to stay, and I'm excited to say it because he is so great. Do you hear this? The dog is going nuts. But hey, at least he gets in some exercise. <laughs> So I guess that's it for now. Stay tuned for more pup coming up. See you next time.